Hi guys, Mr. Bowman here. We are moving on from parabolas. We are moving to cubics. And today's learning objective is in blue. We are learning to find the x and y intercepts of cubics. I've got some examples of cubics on the top left. Cubics are essentially equations that will result in an x cubed. Parabolas are normally equations with x squared, but cubics are the next degree x cubes. With the two graphs that I've drawn, we are going to be calculating the x and y intercepts for both the blue and the red graphs. And we are going to start with the red graph, graph number one. The x intercepts are the points of the graph where the cubic touches the x axis. And at these points, so they are the x intercepts. And at these points, we know that y is always going to be equal to 0 because they are touching the x axis, which runs through y equals 0. Therefore, to find the cubics, we need to make our equation equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 5x minus, sorry, x minus 5 x minus 2 and x minus 1. And just like we do for quadratics, each bracket in the factorized version will give us an answer. So x1 would be equal to 5, x2 would be equal to 2, and x1 would be equal to 1. And if we look at our graph, we can reconcile those numbers with the points we can see in the graph. So that's about 1, that's about 2, and that would be about 5. We then need to turn our x values into actual coordinates. So the coordinates would be 5, 0, 2, 0, and 1, 0. Which means that red graph has three x intercepts. The next one I want to look at is the y-intercepts. And at that point, we know that x is always going to be equal to 0. So we can kind of see our y-intercept somewhere down there. Not sure exactly where, though. So we're going to write down our equation, and we're going to substitute x equals 0 into the equation. So 0 minus 5, 0 minus 2, and 0 minus 1. That means it is negative 5 times negative 2 times negative 1, which would be negative 10. That means that negative 10 value down the bottom, that is going to be our y-intercept. And as a coordinate, that would be 0, comma, negative 10. That is the, those would be the answers of the x and y intercepts for the red graph. We're now going to remove all of this and have a go at finding the x and y intercepts of our second or blue graph using the same methods. So I've now got the blue pen. We're looking at question number two. We're going to start off with the x intercepts. And at that point, we know y is always going to be equal to 0. And we can inv visually inspect our graph, and we know the x intercept. We can only see 1, and we know it's going to be slightly less than 0. But let's have a look how it goes. So we're going to put in 0 is equal to 0 0.5 of x plus 2 cubed minus 3. We then use our algebra to solve this, so we're going to get rid of that plus 3 and plus 3 on the other side. So 3 is equal to 0 0.5 x plus 2 cubed. We're then going to keep following our reverse bed mass. We're going to get rid of that 
times 0.5 by dividing by 0.5. Three divided by 0.5 is equal to six. So six is equal to x plus two cubed. We now want to find the cube root of six. That is going to be equal to x plus two, which means x is going to be equal to negative two plus the cube root of six. So I'll put that in my calculator and negative two plus the cube root of six. That is equal to negative 0 0.1829, and I'm going to round that to 4dp. And that means our coordinate is going to be negative 0 0.1892, comma, 0. Just going to switch pen colors to make it clearer for the next one. Now that we've done that, we're now trying to find the y intercept, which we think is somewhere down here. So the y intercept is when x is equal to 0. So in our case, it's y is equal to 0 0.5 of 0 plus 2 cubed minus 3. 0 0.5 is equal to, I'm oh sorry, y is equal to 0 0.5 times 2 cubed minus 3, y is equal to 0 0.5 minus, times 8, that's minus 3, y is equal to 4 minus 3, y is equal to 1. And that means our y-intercept is 0 comma 1. And that makes sense given our y value is up here. So today's learning objective, just to recap, we are learning to find the x and the y intercepts of cubics. They are very similar methods to the x and y intercept of parabolas. Now let's go and ask, answer some questions.